paid to, but um, Thursday, I think the 29th, I believe it is, of November 2018, uh, it's in the 20s, probably around 28 or so, 26. Nothing's really melting. You can see there's no drips coming off the icicles there. But the inside of the kiln is uh, 50 degrees or but yeah, 50, 48 degrees and running. So the kiln is fine. We haven't had any sun for, well maybe not any. What I can say is we had 15 minutes of sun about three days ago. That was it. And the last time the sun shone for a day was on uh, Saturday, this past Saturday. And it's really been, for a solar kiln, it's been poor weather. However, this wood in here is mostly dry already. I'm just maintaining its dryness. So we're up to 70% relative humidity in there, probably because the temperature is so low is why it is that. But I just thought you'd like to see a little bit of an update on the kiln. Um, you can see mainly where the uh, blowers are, that the heat against the uh, plastic or the polycarbonate is pretty much uh, melted the um, ice off there. But even though the temperature is 50 degrees inside, I had get a com gotten a comment, somebody said I should have used glass. Well, glass does not um, have the same insulating quality that polycarbonate has. And it's obvious because the, wind, the air temperature is 50 in there, yet there's no moisture or nothing dripping off of these icicles. There's no water running. Uh, it's, what is happening is it's, it, it's turning into a water vapor and being sucked up into the air right away. I mean, it's not that there's no water. Uh, dry, uh, melting because there is. You can see like there's a little drop right there. So it's melting but very slowly. And that is because the polycarbonate doesn't let heat pass through it quite so quickly. That's not to say that the polycarbonate is a great insulator because it's not according to our terms today. But it does have a better insulating quality than glass. Just so you might want to see that. So this thing's doing good. I've been letting it run every day. I've shut the dehumidifier off so that I don't have to worry about it freezing. And um, that's about it for that. I want to do a product demonstration, or not demonstration, a review today because um, I, I'm, I'm working with some polycar polyurethane that I think you might be interested in. So guys, this is the stuff I was talking about doing for a product review and I have a good reason behind it. But anyway, um, you can see this is my chair rail I'm going to be using. This has uh, two coats on it, or one coat actually. So it needs another two coats yet. And I'll explain this to you. Let me just go over some of this stuff. I have about 3,000 more feet of molding to stain or polyurethane, and um, I want to get it done as soon as I can. So that's one of the reasons I've been keeping heat in the house here. Uh, the one thing though, this water-based stuff, um, well, I'll start with the price. The price of a gallon of this, now this is only a quart size, but a gallon of this stuff is $36 of this type. Now that's an oil base. It says fast-drying polyurethane. This one is, uh, and that's Minwax as well. Water-based oil-modified polyurethane, superior durability. It says ultra-fast-drying. Now, um, this one here costs $50. So there's a $15 difference in a gallon of it. Just remember that I'm talking about a gallon, not a quart of this stuff as well. So anyway, I took some of this, put it onto a piece of a, a cement block, a dollop of it, and took like a dollop of that, put it on cement block. This readily burns. This does not burn. So the fumes in it are a whole lot um, less hazardous as what the fumes are in this stuff. You can smell this really bad as soon as you start to use it. This inside the house here you can hardly you know use or hardly smell. The other thing is that this water-based stuff it doesn't contribute to a fire like what the oil base does. Once that ignites it, it burns pretty hot. This doesn't ignite. As far as the ultra-fast drying part of it um, they say that this is fast drying, and it is for polyurethane, but it still takes about eight hours in a 
60 or 70 degree temp in order for this to dry enough that you can put on a second coat and even then it it's could be tacky this stuff here dries no doubt in less than three hours okay with the first coat I'm saying so the first coat I put on that stuff it was dry within three hours now it's not tacky but you can see like there's a little bit of a shine to it here and there where the stain is thick thicker but it's not or I mean the polyurethane is thicker on it but it's definitely dry um, so if you're uh, doing um, molding and you don't have a lot of room to put the molding now some guys make racks and stuff and I used to have a nice drying rack when I was building houses I don't have it anymore and I'm not interested in building one because I just don't have the space or the time but this works so well that by the time I did like uh, what do I have there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I think there's ten pieces there by the time I got through all ten the first one was already dry waiting for me to go ahead and you know stay, uh, redo it with a second coat so as far as uh, ultra fast drying this stuff is you know it does what it says and let me just say Minwax is one of those companies where they actually make good products you can rely on what they say is going to happen okay so uh, uh, the ultra fast drying very good it does dry very fast I don't know about how good it is for floors and my problem is I don't know about the durability I don't know how long this has been on the market, this water-based stuff, because I've been out of touch with, uh, you know, heavy construction since I, or any kind of real construction since I uh, retired. But uh, the point is, is that this, I've always used this. I like this stuff. I know this has durability. I'm not sure about this durability until I try it. Both of them say superior durability, so I'll trust, you know, Minwax in, in that that's what it'll do. Now the other drawback between the two of them besides the price is that um, this stuff here requires a definite three coats on molding to be able to get it to uh, look like that clear gloss most people are after. Now it's not, in three coats you don't get that real deep looking shine that you'd see in a real shiny car that's been you know top coated a bunch of times or at least uh, clear coated but you do get a nice shine. Um, this stuff, you will get a harder shine. It'll look a lot better, you know, as far as shine goes, if this is what you want. Not the satin, though, naturally. You need the clear gloss. So that's basically the difference. So dividing those differences up again in more, you know, good and bad, I guess. The good doesn't burn, okay? And one of the reasons I said I had a good reason for, you know, making this video is because I had... Um, Near where I had my lumber yard, there was a guy, an older guy at the time, and this was probably 30 years ago, there was an older guy making, maybe 20 years, anyway, there was an older guy building a log cabin for himself. And when the log cabin was completely finished, and it was beautiful, it took the guy for two years to build it, and it was a kit type, he took polyurethane, I don't know what brand it was or anything, and he painted spray painted the entire inside of the cabin and they did it all in one day well the next morning there were nothing but ashes because apparently he turned heat on and from what I understand they use a torpedo heater in the basement to dry to keep heat in the place it was in the winter they did this the place basically exploded into flames so that was the oil based stuff now if he would have used something like this this doesn't you know encourage fire so I'm just saying you know if you're in, indoors winter time you know you got a solid fuel heat or heat that's given you a flame which you know makes it basically except electric that's what you got you might want to go for this stuff I really like this and the fact that it it doesn't have a strong odor okay um, the other thing is that it dries real quick so you got no odor no fire and um, it dries fast. This one here, it's, you know, I would use this if it wasn't winter and I didn't have the fire going because I really like this stuff. But um, slower drying, eight, eight to ten hours to get it to dry, especially if the temp is only like 50, 60 degrees. You need some 70, 80 degree temperatures to make this stuff really dry hard and quick so that you could get it to uh, 
get a second coat. But you only need two coats with this. It says two to three coats. I guarantee you two coats will do a nice job with this. Unless you're looking for some kind of perfection and you're sanding it in between coats a lot. You know, and that's up to the individual naturally. This stuff is slower to dry. Um, it ignites. And uh, what was that other third thing on that one? Uh, this one, um, let's see. Oh, it takes less coats. So that's a, those are those are three of the things that make this different. Um, but this does give you a better, at least from my point of view, it gives you a, a more durable finish. But we'll see. Uh, time will tell what the durability of this other stuff is. So anyway, guys, I figured I'd make the video on that because I have a whole lot of molding to do. Not only do I have this, but then I have that in there to do yet. None of that's been done. And then I have... Over here, I have that whole pile up in the front there has not been done yet. So there's a lot of it to do, and uh, I've been, that's why I say I've been keeping the fire going and using coal and wood to, you know, keep it going without stopping to keep it warm in here. So I thought you might like to know that. Uh, again, the price difference, 36 for a gallon, not for a quart now, and versus 50. But if you're indoors, Especially in winter with no windows or nothing open, you might want to try this stuff. I think it's worth the extra $15 personally. Guys, have a good one. Thanks for commenting on my videos. If you have any comments that you can add to this about durability, uh, I'd really like to hear about them if you know anything about this stuff. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye. Have a good one. Okay, guys, I, I wasn't going to show you this because yesterday was so windy, but today I don't have near as much wind. Now this dollop right there is the water-based stuff. This one over on this, this, this dollop right here is the water-based. Let me back up a little here. This is the oil-based. So I have a torch here. That's the oil-based. You can see it's burning. This is the water-based. Now it's evaporating off of it but it doesn't ignite like this is already this stays burning this is the water based again see how hot I can make this stuff you see how it goes out right away it doesn't encourage burning and that's wet there yet so you'd expect that to burn now this one on this side the I mean, it's burning, but the the uh, vapors are coming off of it, and that's why it's not burning as hard as it was before. But this is very wet right in here. You would think that that would burn good, but you see how you take the flame away and it's not burning? Now, like I say, this one here, because of the... Uh, because the vapors are off of it and burned up, it's not going to do anything. But this one here is still wet. You can see that there that it's wet. Even the wet, even the dried film doesn't seem to work too good as, you know, as far as burning goes. So that's just the part of the video I, I did it yesterday. What happened was yesterday, somebody from Michigan sent me a whole lot of wind. Now today, she gave me a break, so... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I, I'm out here uh, doing this little test. So I just wanted you to see that because I wasn't ha I wasn't satisfied to know that it. they said it, um, it actually doesn't say that it won't burn. I actually found that on the MSDS sheet for it. So oil base, um, or I mean water base, I'm sorry, water base, major difference in how it acts to flame. So well, guys, we're at the end of the day today. I did not go hunting. I should have gone, but I didn't. This this weather with no sun for days and days on end is just getting to me. I'm going to have to go to Florida for, or better not, no, I don't even think I'll go to Florida. I'll go to somewhere else. It's too hot down there. I got an invitation to go to North Carolina. Maybe I'll go there. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Bye.